Yeah, Pemberton Square Boulevard, still one of the hardest hit areas. Kroger now back open, but as you can see over my shoulder here, many other businesses are still shut down after being pummeled by major storms. On Westwood Drive, the McGuffey home is barely standing. Pat McGuffey Jr. is still stunned. It was more or less than a bomb went off in the house. Everything, it blew up and then everything sucked out at one time. A 40 foot section of the roof is gone because of the powerful twister that struck Saturday evening. Pat McGuffey Sr.'s wife was pinned by falling trees and branches inside the home. See where it came down through the wall? <laughs> through the ceiling? Uh -huh. There is the alderman that pinned her. Right there. Fixed cameras in the city of Vicksburg capture the ferocious winds that pummel this River City community in a matter of minutes. 96 homes and 19 businesses damaged and the totals are growing because of the two reported EF2 tornadoes that reduced roofs and walls to splinters. From high above with Eagle Eye 16, you can see how Chuck Tate's home was literally split in two. You want a duplex? I thought we had a kitchen on one side. The veteran firefighter knows it could have been much worse. Good humor about it all. Well, I've been dealing with a fire service for 32 years plus. We deal with this for other people all the time. Uh, we keep telling them, nobody's hurt, it's just stuff. But a lot of stuff is damaged. Pemberton Square is just one of many areas where crews are working tirelessly to clean up and repair where winds tore heavy air conditioning and heating units right from the roof. Thousands are still without power. Dozens of power poles pushed on its side. Because we hadn't had anything like this since 1973. It was devastating, is an understatement. Powerful storms, but no one hurt. Local and state emergency officials are fanning out as we speak, still compiling storm damage numbers. FEMA arrives Wednesday. They'll go out to the fields to validate that number and determine if that federal assistance is warranted here. They say, though, they already know the damage totals reach in the millions. Live in Vicksburg, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT.